All right, after my research, I have found that Mailer Light is the best choice for getting started with an email platform. I am going to walk you through signing up for it and getting your email list set up. But first, let me give you a quick look at the outside perspective of what we're trying to set up here. This is not built on Mailer Light, but it's the same idea of what you can create there and what we're trying to set up here for your very first email list. So first you have a simple web page that offers something free in exchange for an email address. We put a form there. When you, they put their information into that form, then it will either just say, success, great, thanks for signing up, or it will redirect them to a thank you page, and then the email system will automatically deliver what they asked for. And now this person is on your email list and they will receive a sequence of welcome emails if you set that up or they will just be on your list to start receiving your different newsletters and your weekly content and whenever you have promotions they're there to hear about them so they have a free tier and they do start you a 30-day trial for the premium features however I believe that the free tier still has a lot of what we are looking for. So this is how, see if you have different numbers of people, if only I had 45,000 people on my email list, then yes, I would pay $200 a month for that. But up to a thousand subscribers, look how reasonable that is. Zero. You can send 12,000 emails a month. You have one user, so you can't have like a team member. Um, with their own separate login but it does have the email automation builder landing page sign up forms and pop-ups drag and drop editor so like this is what I'm really looking at does it have this so well, let's find out just how robust that is okay gotta go verify my email address Okay, so right now we have no subscribers. Let's see, what do we need to do to complete our profile? Have you used ones before? Which platform did you use? Oh my gosh, see how many there are? Okay, so if you have contacts, you can move some of the details over. If you have a list somewhere you can also download a spreadsheet called a CSV file and re-upload it into a new platform so that you save all your leads um, but you may be asked where you got those leads from so be prepared to answer what lead magnet you used or however you gathered those names which tools are you interested in using select as many as you like campaigns forms Personally, I don't need to build a website or landing page because I already have that. Definitely automations. Transactional emails. Get to know mailer send a transactional email service with an intuitive design. I am not sure what that means. I gotta see all these things. used all of these. <laughs> okay, we do not want to trigger any spam stuff. I have read and agreed. Confirm. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is to create a form because that is how we're going to get people onto our subscriber list.
you can change this name later. All right. What does this? I don't understand what the difference is between these two things. So if you're putting this onto a website, you can get the embed form and the website will have an HTML code spot and you can put it in there. Or let's see how it connects as a pop-up. Do we have to use their website for that? Don't have any groups. Allow you to organize your subscribers. Oh, excellent. We like that. All right. So let's see. Newsletter templates on promotion pop-ups, click maps. Okay, so those promotion pop-ups are going to be a premium feature that we'll have to pay for, but I don't think we need those because that sounds like pop-ups that allow you to purchase something immediately, and we're looking at sending a free thing. So, segment test. Let's see what that looks like. So now everybody who goes through this form should be added to that segment. And here are some form templates. We can preview them, we can choose them. So because I selected pop-up, you see this is something that's going to like slide into the corner of the website. You can change a bunch of these elements, sign up form settings, you can have them confirm, you can, if you live in uh, the UK, you definitely want to have this. You can let them pick a group to be added to, that can be useful sometimes. You can put the recapture, which oh, I hate those, but you could do that if you want to. <laughs> Form position, stuff like that, okay. Unlock. To mm. add a name field. Can we make that required? Yep. Obviously, email is always required, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Can add some different form things if we want to. Okay, we are done editing. How do we put this onto our website? Choose the trigger. Um, this is my favorite trigger to use for pop-ups. It's the exit intent. So it's when somebody scrolls to leave, it goes, wait! So I like that one. But it doesn't work on mobile. A lot of people are using mobile, so maybe it's good to try one of these. We show hide on specific pages, hide on desktop, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, so you can add this snippet, the head tag of your website. If you're using Shopify or WordPress, they have integrations for that, so it'll be easier. Um, but this is where you might want to just go for the straight form and not the pop-up, because that might be easier. I'm not a fan of the double opt-in. I would leave that off. So yes, they should join this group. So let's see. We can see the analytics. People who have opted in. Oh, and automation. Create an automation for your subscribe form. Haha. -ha. When they complete this form, send them a welcome email, design the email, the name and the subject line, who it's from, then you can make it delay for a day, and then send another email. You can make it split. Hey buddy! Hi! Hi. So if they said yes to something, then you can send them this email. If they said no to something, you send them a different email. You define the rule here of what condition that they did. Like maybe they said yes to a certain group membership and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of fun, fancy stuff you can do with this. Uh, let's see, what's the action? You can move to a group, remove from a group, mark as unsubscribe, move to another step. So you can get super fancy with this, but basically to just start out with, 
you want to have the welcome email that delivers the freebie you promised. Then you want to have maybe two or three more emails, one each day to introduce people to you and who you are, what you do, and, and guide them back to your offers. So the fact that this allows you to do this on the free level, I am a big fan of. I'm going to delete that step. I'm probably going to cancel because I don't have any of this set up. Um, but I'm very happy with that and can also access those automations from over here. Campaigns, this is going to be like your regular newsletters that you're going to send out to your whole list at least once a week. <laughs> so these have like a drag and drop that you can create in there. Let's see what the sites look like. So if you don't already have a website, you can just create a simple landing page to host that web that um, sign up form and then be putting that as your top of funnel link everywhere. Have that as your link in bio on Instagram and guide everybody there. So if you don't have a website already, then create a landing page, put a form on it and start gathering email lists, <laughs> email addresses for your subscribers. And you can look at these different segments and groups and do all kinds of different things with them. So, um, yeah, this is this is the one that I am recommending when you are getting started. I think that this offers the best functions for the best price. And for more information on email marketing, you can check out this playlist here.